So I make a short video as well in my basement. Let's have to think this would be a good video. This was... This, there's my furnace. Let's just turn on and... And what they had was this... Got a fuse switch thing here. Kind of it going up. And then they had it going to some old disconnect on the other side of the wall there. I undid that. It was pointless. And there was bad wire and everything else. Thermostat wire going up with it. And what I did... I have enough wire here I could hardwire it if I wanted to. 12-2 wire, it's just a 15 amp circuit though. And then, instead of going into the conduit, what I did was I put an outlet here, which is a single as receptacle. Spare fuses for the furnace. And what this, this is a 14 gauge cord, I guess it's got this at Home Depot. 15 amp circuit, so 14 gauge is fine. <clears throat> then it's coupled this normal 90 degree conduit fitting. This goes down to the switch down here. And the reason I did this was so that if I ever lose power, I only have a disconnect, at least at this point, for the panel. So, worst case, I can run the furnace, fridge, freezer, sump pump. I just run a couple extension cords down here off my portable generator. I unplug this thing, plug it into an extension cord. Then I have my furnace that will still run because it's, it's just a gas furnace. So it just needs a power supply for the fan and the thermostat, basically. So that's what all that is. And that's, I talked to one of my friends that's an electrician and I see what he thought about this idea right before I did this. And he said, that's absolutely fine. So it's not like you didn't really say there was any issue with the code or anything. I online I saw like, hidden misinformation on where, whether you could do this. A lot, a lot of people were asking this. And, and my electrician friend, he's like said basically if it's 15 amp circuit, 14 gauges, like or you, this would something like this would be absolutely fine. Although you you I wouldn't you, you might I wouldn't. It worked for me, and it, I have no issue with it, but I don't, my friend didn't either, but you might want to look around before you do something like this, but that's how I'm going to run my furnace if I ever need to off the generator. Just unplug this, and then there's no risk of any back feeding or anything like that. It'll run the furnace, and then when the power comes on, I'll just flop it back. 